Hi everyone, I've just come today to share with you um, how I've made my own file folder um, because here in the UK we can't get hold of these file folders as freely um, as you can in the US and maybe other parts of the, country, uh, other parts of the world. Sorry. Um, so I was gifted some of these last week and obviously they're not going to last me forever so I thought alright how can I make my own. So um, what you will need for this, I'm just going to move this one out of the way you will need <clears throat> two sheets of A4 cardstock and you can use any colour you like, I'm just using white and then you will need a strip of paper which is the same length and this measures one and three, I've wrote it all down, <laughs> one and three quarters and we're going to score this um, so you'll need a scoreboard and also you will need a um, an envelope punch board now. I know not everybody's got one of these but if you have then you can use that. Um, if not you could kind of um, could kind of draw the shape out yourself or like hand cut it. So but I've got this so I'll be using this. Um, so I'm going to set this out of the way first. I'm going to try and get everything. Oh you'll also need some score tape or you can use wet glow. It's entirely up to you. So I don't actually need that. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to take it up to the four inch mark on here. And what I'll do is I'll write all the measurements below as well. So, um, and then you punch. I'm stretching around my tripod here, trying not to like, knock it. Then you will take it up and right in the center um, of your punch, there's a little silver bit we want to line this edge piece up in the middle of that so that when you punch it you get that so I'm just going to set this aside for one minute and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one but one you're going to do one thing with and one you're going to do something else with so I'm going to punch that sorry if that moved the camera and then again into the center piece and punch and then you'll get that so now I'm just going to put this aside because you are going to need it again and I'm just going to use my ruler and my blade and on this one I am just going to trim this long piece off here yep and that's fine and then on the other one <clears throat> I'm going to trim the shorter piece off so well, it's a bit candy for me here now so I hope I'm in frame so as all the stretching around does it makes it a little bit harder I tried to set it up so that it would be easier but I just couldn't do it so and you just take it to that middle piece right in case I trim it all off Okay, so then you, you've got these two pieces like that now. Now we're going to bring the punch ball board back and on this you're going to take it into the centre and obviously you've got this little lip so just butt it up as far as you can and punch and then you're going to do the same here and punch so that's you've got that piece right there and then on this one you're just going to do again in the center and punch to give you that shape now we're done with this so I can put that away so now we have these two pieces here now as you can see I hope you can see because it's white paper um, you bring these down a little bit I would say it's about um, I oh, can't really see but let me show you what to do with the um, your strip that you need to join these two pieces because <clears throat> when they are like that you've got a gap there which is I think about an inch something like that but this piece of paper is what joins it together so I've kind of marked it there because I had to do that so that I could write it all down so this piece of paper is the same length and what you do is you butt it up and am I in frame here? yes again like I said I will write everything down the bottom 
you will score at one, no, you will score at half an inch. Then you will score, got it written down, where's my notes? Then you will score at three quarters of an inch. Then you will score at one inch. And then you will score at one and a quarter inch. Sorry, I know I've moved the camera. This allows you half an inch here and half an inch there. Now that's you done with your scoreboard. So you can put that away. <clears throat> then you just fold the uh, at the half inch either side. You don't have to fold or score uh, burnish the other bits. Where's my other bond folder? Yes, not prepared at all. <laughs> so there's one bond folder. So just score. After you've scored it, you burnish it, and that's that. Right. So turn it over, and as you can see, I hope you can see that. There we go. Maybe I should have done that in a different colour. So. This actually all kind of joins up just perfectly. So the piece that is, it's got the longer piece, right? You do that one first. And you will just put a piece of score tape. Just got this double-sided double tape I've got. Right, and butt it right up to the edge. And tear that off. Yeah, you can use score tape. You can use a wet glue if you like. It's entirely up to you. So, then you will just... No, I can't get my head over to make sure that I'm in line. So you will measure that up and to the bottom and glue that down. And fold that over. And then you will put another piece of the double-sided tape one up there like so and I've gone over a little bit on that so what I'll do is I'll just trim I'll push it back or you can trim it if, you, if your tape goes over just kind of pull it in because you don't want it sticking on the other side or use thinner tape Simples. <laughs> right, so that will be coming over that side. You'll fold that back there. Then with the short side being at the top here, you will just pop that down. And yeah, I didn't mind that up properly there. And then you have your file folders. You can see it's a bit off there. Um, it's because I didn't, the tape went a bit funny. So you can just do that. And there we have it. And that's me. I've made, I made a few. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yep, it's exactly the same. You just need that little piece to join it together. And you have your file folder some ink on that but I will probably be coffee staining these anyway so there we go so that's the two I've made and where's the one that I was given I was gifted so there you go maybe a little bit different but I've got the um I've got the tabs the wrong way around I think but all you have to do I think is do that and there we have it hope you can see that I hope this is helpful um, it's just a tiny teeny bit smaller but then that's because we've only got like the A4 paper here um, so yeah easy peasy uh, if you have any questions and like I said I will put all the measurements below in the description box if you want to um, if you want to try this yourself and I'm off now so I'll speak to you all soon bye